Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. Welcome to a new day. Hope you're doing okay today. Uh, had a good sleep, waking up bright eyed and bushy tailed, ready to go and uh, you know, deal with the world, whatever it's going to give you today. Hope that it's uh, that you're ready for it. You know, you've made it to 60 plus. Uh, I, I think you should feel proud of that accomplishment and just feel that you've got so much more ahead of you, though, to give and that everything that you've done so far in your life is building on that. Um, I'm I'm in kind of nostalgic mood today and, I've, and I'm going to talk about something um, in a very positive way. Um, that uh, I think all of us can benefit from. But first of all, my tea. Um, I'm drinking Earl Grey. <laughs> now, Earl Grey, I got it from a little company called Hidden Garden, and um, it's just a very beautiful drink. It's got a lovely tea bag, actually. I left it in there so you could see it. It's one of those kind of... Uh, Oh, I don't know. You can see the leaves inside there. It's not hidden. But um, Earl Grey is one of my favorite teas. And I was curious. I, I couldn't quite remember where it came from, what it was. So I looked it up. And Earl Grey, of course, is a black tea that's got a little bit of um, bergamot in it. It's bergamot orange, sort of the, um, you know, the, the peel. And also, I guess I, I was researching that there's actually a blue uh, Earl Grey too, where they put some flowers uh, from the cornflower family in the Earl Grey tea. So it's kind of an exotic blend tea and I love it. I think it's really, really nice. So a cup of Earl Grey tea to start the day. Now, uh, before I go any further, though, I do want to make sure I thank you all for being here. Uh, it's so important to me to, for you to know that you're such a part of my life and I really do value you so much and I want to just want you to know that, okay? <laughs> So, um, do you like my necklace? I just got this one yesterday and I've got a little teeny story to tell you about this because it's such a fun story. Um, I went into a town near my house called Winterthur. Winterthur is, um, it's, I don't even know its history, but it's got a very interesting feeling to it. It's a bohemian town that's got lots of little uh, boutique shops and craft, arts and craft shops. And I always go there for that reason. But um, yesterday I bumped into uh, a little shop called Octopus and and uh, I walked in and it's owned by a woman called Eva. And Eva showed me around her shop. And my goodness, there were like so many necklaces. This is just one of them that I, I chose and some little earrings to go with it. And um, I just love the color and it was so spring-like and happy. But um, she said, oh, Margaret, you must go down and look at our um, consignment room. This is where people have brought things in and traded them for other products. So I went down and my gosh, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> like in Aladdin's cave. I couldn't believe my eyes of just like necklaces and bracelets and, oh, I don't know, and brooches and um, just beautiful stuff. And it was all very reasonable uh, because people had decided it, they wanted a change of pace and they traded uh, their jewelry for something else. So I looked around and honestly, I, I could have bought thousands of things, but um, this one I bought, it was eight francs, which is about, what, seven or eight dollars. And it's a gorgeous this necklace can you see I mean I'll just hold it up and I should have I'll wear it some other time properly but this was just a really lovely little necklace and I, I just love the mixture of, of different um, beads and I thought it was really cute but not only that it came with a bracelet <laughs> It had a bracelet too, which is just so sweet. Anyway, Eva and I had a really nice chat. We took a selfie picture and I'll, I'll post it on, on Facebook. But she was just adorable, really sweet. And a woman who is living life in her 50s or 60s, I didn't ask her, but she and I had a similar, oh, I don't know, just similar feeling for life and for fun jewelry, funky jewelry. And I have a feeling that I'm going to be going back there. I'll leave the details uh, to her place. It's called Octopus. And if you're ever in winter tour or if you're ever in Zurich, just go to Winterthur. It's only an hour away and um, you'll love it. It's a really beautiful little town and Eva is, um, is a nice woman. And she reminded me, um, which is the topic for today's chat, about how we can, what we've done in our lives, like her with her jewelry, me with my writing, that we can share with other people and especially with younger people. We wrote an article, gosh, about two years ago now, and it was called 60 Things That Older Women Want Younger Women to Know. And we, uh, we actually published it on Huffington Post. And there were literally tens of thousands of, of likes and comments on Facebook. I think about 22,000 people shared it on Facebook. And 
it really hit a nerve because women in our community had just sent in to me um, one line, you know, what they found, um, what they'd like to share with a younger generation, with a younger woman. And so I was just going to sit here for a few minutes and read some of the uh, art, some of the comments that you made. And I think actually I'd like to do a, a follow up article. So if you've got any any that are you know, a little different or just building on what I'm going to read here, uh, go ahead and send them to me at margaret at 60andme.com or just leave your comment in the section below and we can all enjoy them. And then I will go back and pick them up. But they were just so sweet. And I'm not going to read all 60 because honestly, you can read the article, but I'm just going to literally read a few that, um, well, just a few that I picked out and uh, see whether they resonate with you. So I'm not, there's no names with these. It's just words that things you said that you'd like to share with a younger woman. Remember, you only have one life. This is not a dress rehearsal. Keep an eye on the here and now. Try to stay positive and look for the good in every life experience. Remember that life can change in an instant. Love all the stages of your life and fear none because they're all magical. Learn to live in the moment. If you, pa if you can master this when you're young, it will help you in your 60s. There were a lot of comments like that, you know, like things you can learn as you, when you're young, that if you can master them, you can, they'll be really great uh, for you in your 60s. I think that, that was a great piece of advice. So it's life's too short to worry about something that will happen in the future. Live for today. That's all ages. Get outside and enjoy nature. Find a hobby or a profession that will take you through all your different stages. Be yourself age with grace. Well, we may have other words to describe how we want to age, but that one had power. So focus on positive aging instead of anti-aging. That's one of my favorites. Accept the changes in your body and mind as you get older. Make memories, but always keep a soft landing place. Home. <laughs> always have a home or a place you call home. Virginia Woolf was right. A woman just needs a room of her own and $500. Maybe it's $5,000, but a room of your own. Here's some more. Uh, let's see. Don't worry about getting older. Worry about getting boring. Buy classic clothes. They'll always be in style. Don't obsess about wrinkles. When the lines start to show on your face, think of them as the roadmap of your life. Okay. I agree with that. Live for the present. Don't worry about getting older. The best is yet to come. That's an older person speaking to a younger person. I like this one here. Love and respect your partner and your children the way you want them to love and respect you. I think that's pretty powerful. Let's see. I've got a couple more pages here, but I'll just do a few more. Never go to, go to sleep angry with yourself or with anyone else. Get out, of the, get out of a bad relationship fast. You can't change another person. I think a lot of women in our community can relate to that. And that would be great advice. There's another one that someone said, don't marry that guy. <laughs> don't marry the first guy that asked you to marry him. I thought that was a good one too. Take care of your skin and smile often. Just be yourself. Don't strive per for perfection. Be a warrior. Learn to be resourceful and self-sufficient. I think that's excellent advice. Be a warrior, not a worrier. Never stop learning and enhancing yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Many struggles actually become easier with age. Vote. Don't be afraid. When you get there, you will be okay. Life and nature prepare you <clears throat> for each phase of life. The, uh, these I could honestly I could go on I think I've read about 20 30 of them but they they honestly go on there's 60 of them but give yourself give your love freely and unconditionally learn to forgive at an earlier age at 30 you become a woman appreciate how beautiful you are trust your instincts and never speak badly about yourself 
And finally, which is very relevant to us, is keep a close circle of lady friends. It's essential. I honestly, I, I love, I read this article and I actually post it now and again because I just want people to realize that older women have got some very, very interesting life experience and a lot to teach younger women and, and guys. I think it's just we've done so much and we have learned a lot from our experiences, good and bad. So that's a little snippet from that article, which I hope you've enjoyed. And it's taken you a little bit down memory lane yourself. I'd love to know, though, you know, what are some what is a piece of advice that you'd like to give to a younger woman? What piece of advice would you like to give to a younger woman? Leave your comments in the section below and let's start another article. Let's start another list. But those are all great. And I really appreciate everyone that contributed. Thank you again, everybody, for being here. Have a super day. Get out there and do something good for yourself. And I'll speak with you all again soon. Bye bye for now.